It feels good to be back. I'm going to take you through the ultimate six month glow up plan. Now, I am a self professed reinvention queen over here, okay? I have gone from this, someone that spent majority of her life strive to be a size six to eight. I straightened my hair, I wore color contact lenses. I thought that in order to belong, I needed to look like everybody around me. And being in Australia, that meant I wanted to look like the blonde Bondi beach girl. And that is not me. So I, over the years, have consistently, and when I say over the years, I only mean over the last, say, like maybe five, six years, have I truly found myself? Have I truly gone on a journey of self-discovery, of reinventing myself, leveling myself up, and striving to be the highest, best version of myself on the daily? And I've really created a life where that is my goal. When I wake up in the morning, my goal is to be her, that boldest, baddest, hottest, most successful version of myself. And that consistently is changing and growing. And I firmly believe that there isn't going to be a moment where we sit there and say, okay, cool, we are the best version of ourselves right now. Because if we truly are be being her, she wouldn't ever stop learning. She wouldn't ever stop trying to improve on herself. And she would never think that she has nothing more to learn because she would have an open mind and consistently be striving for more and to be better. So I think that the true work, the true joy is actually in the process and that is the glow up. Okay, that is the reinvention. And that is what we're going to go through today. For those of you that are new here, my name is Terry Lee, your mindset, manifestation, and personal development nerd that absolutely loves learning, loves growing, loves pushing my boundaries, and is just on a constant mission to become the best version of myself and to help you do the same. So today I'm going to take you guys through what I would recommend if you're looking to glow up, if you're looking to reinvent yourself, if you're looking to achieve your wild wildest, biggest, boldest goals over the next six months for you to do too. So first step is go and grab that pen and paper girl, okay, and come back. Pause the video, go, come back, get your notes, get your phone, whatever it is, take notes. If you truly are going to do this, you're probably not going to watch this once, you're probably going to watch this twice, okay? I know that is what I was doing when I was first starting out on this journey. I was learning, I was diving deep, and I would immerse myself with anything to do with self-improvement. I'll be waiting. Okay, you got that? Let's get into it. Below, I'm going to timestamp everything so that you can just swipe to any sections that you really want to go and check out. But if you truly are here to do the damn work, I recommend just watching the whole thing and maybe even watching it twice because that is where the real gems are going to come from. Okay, so we're going to dive straight in. Step one is to reevaluate our 2024 goals. Now we are going to grab that vision board girl, okay? And we are going to be open, honest, and have a little bit of a, a tough love kind of chat with her, okay? Now, firstly, I want you to look at 2024 so far and look at the things that you've achieved. Mm-hmm, yes, you did that, okay? I want you to truly bask in it. I want you to enjoy every single thing that you've done. Write a damn book about it. You know, list it out. In my journal, I literally just use two pages where I go through from the big all the way through to the small, all of the things that I've done so far and celebrate it. Have a beautiful night in. Have a me, myself and I with a little bit of, little bit of wine, <laughs> maybe some good little tunes in the background, but have a night where you celebrate yourself because you deserve it. And I think a lot of the time we just keep moving the goalpost of where our goals are. We don't truly look at the progress and all of the micro goals that we maybe would have achieved that would enable us to achieve that big goal. So stop for a moment, celebrate it, and then we're gonna move into the next part, which is, what haven't you done and why? We need to get open, honest, and real about this. Have you not achieved it because you tried, gave it your all, and you failed? Or is it because you were self-sabotaging? Because you're actually scared of succeeding or doing the thing that you want to do? So I want you to look at that, dissect it, figure out why you haven't achieved it or why you haven't achieved it yet, because it is inevitable if you still want it. And then you need to 
realign your goals. Decide what is aligned to me right now, what is aligned to my future version of myself, and what do I want to keep there? If there's anything on that board that does not work anymore, guts to go. Okay, and that is fine. You don't need to achieve it all. You just need to take care of yourself and make sure that what you want that is truly for you, you're going after and that you have clarity on that. Because if it's meant for you, it will find you. And it may not be now, it might be later, or it may never have been meant for you. Okay, so step one is reevaluate those goals and let's get some clarity on that future vision. That six month version of you come December, January, 2025. What has she done? For me, I love to update my goals in person through my actual vision board, but on the daily, I use my planner, the Go Get Her Planner. If you want access to that, the link is down below. It really allows me to take my big, hairy, scary goals from vision all the way through to a reality and a daily routine. And that leads me in to step number two, which is bridging the gap between the future version of you and your reality now. Now, what do I mean by that? What I mean is looking at that future version of you, that December 2024 version of you that's achieved everything that you want to achieve and turning those big goals into micro goals. I love to turn my big vision into three goals. From those three goals, I'll set monthly goals. And then from the monthly goals, I will set my weekly goals goals. Okay. Now that gets turned into a routine, something small, something attainable, something that is actually realistic for me to do. So for example, if I want to improve my health and to really take my, my health seriously, to feel good on the inside, to look good on the outside, I'm going to consistently go to reformer Pilates for example. I will turn my monthly goal into just consistently going to a form of Pilates and getting that snatched waist. I will turn that into a weekly goal. Now my weekly goal is three Pilates classes per week. That is easy. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, booked in every single week. And now I just have to show up. It makes it really small and attainable. And instead of it being, oh no, I need to put my health on a pedestal. I need to be snatched. I need to look amazing, better than I've ever looked before. That big, unattainable goal. Now it is just super simple. Now it is a matter of meal prepping on a Sunday. It is a matter of three reformer Pilates classes and one friendship hang every single week where we go for a nice long walk and that's it. That's all I need to do. It's super easy. It's super realistic and it is attainable and able to be put into my now. Easy for me to go to a Pilates class tomorrow. Midday Friday Pilates class, my favorite class of the week. It just makes it super easy to take that big vision and turn it into micro tasks or things that you incorporate in your day to day. Third thing that we are going to do is to track and record. I'm going to show you here what my notion tracker looks like. Now I will reward myself on my big goals for sure. Let, let me show you. Okay. So this is my vision board. I just did one of these. There is a national TVC commercial that is coming out with my face on it very soon in Australia. So Underneath my big goal, I put my raw board, which was a self-care day. And it was the best. I loved it. I got my nails done. I got my hair did. I got a facial. I went to the spa. It was amazing. It was such a fun day. And it just was such a beautiful moment. So I love that I reward myself for the big wins, but also it's important to reward yourself for the little ones too. Okay. So I love to reward myself with little positive affirmations. So if I know that I have achieved more than 70% of my tasks, my weekly tasks that I wanted to complete. I'll show you the notion board here. 70% and above is a damn win. So every single week when I review my tasks and how I've gone, if I tick it all off, I get a little reward and that might be a nice walk. It might be a little affirmation to myself, a little letter to me telling me how freaking amazing I am. You know, it could be anything. I have a jar that is, <laughs> is literally filled with little rewards and some of them, majority of them are not actually even financial to be quite honest it's maybe just take a damn break um it's free things that just remind me ground me and fill my cup because it's really important to to be your biggest fan to reward yourself when it is deserved and to stop and appreciate those little wins because life is fast and we make it faster and we are impatient and yeah you deserve it
Next up is my manifestation practice, okay? Now, this is something that I will do every single day. Well, Monday to Friday, I'll do this. Weekends, get a little distracted with the hubby, you know? But it's something that I think is really important. My manifestation practice really allows me to ground myself in my why. Why do I wanna achieve those goals? Why do you wanna write that book? You don't wanna write the book so that you can make a shit ton of money. You don't want to write the book so that you are adored by thousands. No, maybe you want to write the book because you want to make a positive impact in the world and you want to change one person's life for the better with the knowledge that you've acquired. You generally want to make impact. Impact is really the main intention for majority of our goals, let's be honest. It's not just to be validated or to be seen or those superficial things that we may initially think that it is, but if we truly look at it, we need to understand our whys. And I'm saying, what is our why for everything? So for example, me, I do modeling. Um, and from the outside looking in, it probably seems as though being a curve model is kind of just a superficial thing, right? It's just me being pretty, taking pictures. But for me, it's so much deeper than that. The reason that I am so proud to be a model, the reason that I love what I do and my why is because as a woman of color, growing up in Australia, I didn't see people that looked like me on billboards. I didn't see people that looked like me on television screens. And, and that really made me not love myself. I have always been a bit of a loner. I was heavily bullied when I was in high school and I thought that if I looked like everyone around me, I would belong, I would fit in, and they wouldn't bully me or they wouldn't make fun of me or my accent, whatever else it might be. Or maybe the boy would finally choose me in school. But I realized as I got older that it is not a matter of me needing to look like them in order to belong. It's a matter of me standing tall in who I am, showing up authentically so that the next generation, the, the younger version of me, someone, another woman of color that is maybe not naturally size six to eight, someone that has big fluffy curly hair, that is still the ethnic girly and has ethnic parents that are, do things a little bit differently to what the other girls in school do. I want her to see me on TV. I want her to see someone that is curvy, that is proud of her body, someone that looks like her achieving all of the things that maybe she wants to achieve. And I love what I do. And that is my why. I want young little girls to love themselves exactly how they are. Their skin doesn't need to be lighter. Their hair doesn't need to be straighter. Their eyes don't need to be lighter in order to be accepted, in order to be loved, in order to be worthy. They are worthy as they are right now. And that is my why as to why I do modeling, why I do content creation. Because even today in Australia, there are not as many people of color in the creator space as there should be. There really isn't. And I want to change that. And that means I need to stand up. I need to stand tall. I need to be big, take up space and pave the damn way. That is my why so that future generations have it easier than, than maybe our generation does. So as well as reminding myself on the daily about my why, I love to do meditations. Now, I'm not just talking your daily, your daily meditations where you don't think about anything. I'm talking about a quantum leap manifestation. It is amazing, okay? It is a guided meditation. I will link below my favorite. I'll link over here. This is what it looks like, okay? If you see this, this is what it is. I love this meditation. It is a beautiful guided meditation and I enjoy it so much. I'm gonna do it tonight actually. Um, but basically it really focuses on visualization, visualizing your future self, visualizing that version of you that you inevitably will become her and taking you through the details. So instead of just saying what it is, you are feeling it, you are seeing it, you are, you are embodying her, that future version of you. And it just, once again, is definitely a part of the reinvention game. I think a lot of people love to think about the the fashion and the makeup and the, the cutesy, you know, showing up and all of the materialistic shit that comes with this. But the real change is actually the inner game, the, the inner dialogue, the way that we speak to ourselves, our beliefs, our, our thought systems and how we view ourselves. And that is something that I have really been able to tap into once connecting to that future version of me. And I think that this Will help you too. So I love a good quantum leap meditation. It's super fun. I know it sounds woo woo, but trust me, it's good. Okay. Now, as well as that, every year I write a letter to her. Mm -hmm. Who is she? She is me in the future. Okay. And I thank her <laughs> for 
everything that she did to get there because I know it is inevitable, but I, I write a letter from her and I read this letter. Okay, so this is a letter. I go through it in the Notion Planner in detail of how you can do this too. But this is a letter from that future version of me and telling me everything that I need to know. This is like the key, the plan, the, the thing, the secret that I need to, in order to unlock that version of me. It's in this letter, okay? It outlines everything that I feel, everything that I, my beliefs, my, my routines, how I handle myself, and the things that I'm going to achieve. And it is so exciting to read this every single morning. I look at my vision boards and my notion. I make sure that I read my letter from her. And inside of my, my, my gut, I can feel that it is happening. I can feel that it is already mine. Um, and this just, really allows me to sit in it and to feel it and your thoughts create your reality, right? So make sure they're good ones. <laughs> and that's why I really love my meditation practice. And I recommend that everybody has a manifestation slash meditation practice that you go through that really connects you to that future version of yourself because she is there, she is waiting. The only thing that's happening right now is that you need to go out and connect with her. And that leads me to the final step. Now this is a little controversial, okay? I'm gonna get a little bit of hate from this, I'm sure. But you need to enter your selfish era. Mm -hmm. Now when I say selfish, I mean you are focused on self-discipline, self-love, self-care, self-worth. You are your priority and you need to become obsessed with yourself because girl, you are amazing. You are incredible. Okay, you are God's gift to this world. You just need to believe it. We all see it. You need to see it too. And then you just need to go out and do it. You need to become obsessed. You need to be obsessed with becoming the best version of you. Obsessed with becoming the version that you inevitably will become. I want you to look at the way that she dresses. I want you to look at the way that she wears her makeup. I want you to look at the books that she reads. I want you to think about what type of goals does she have? What type of exercise routine does she have? What type of manifestation practices does she incorporate into her life? Who does she watch on YouTube? What shows does she watch? What does she do on her weekends? Does she, does she use her weekends in order to escape her present? Or does she use her weekends to build her damn future? I want you to truly tap in to that version of yourself. Be selfish AF. And the more obsessed that you become with her, the faster you will be her. Now, personally for me, I absolutely love to share my life on social media as a content creator. This is a fantastic way for me to romanticize the hell out of my life um, and really just enjoy the things that I do. I love to read, I love to walk, I love to to connect with girlfriends that have the same passions and vision and, and drive as I do. And a year ago, I didn't have any of that. I didn't have the friendship groups that I have now. And yes, I said groups, there's plural. I had hardly had friends a few years ago. I love to share my journey on social media as a content creator and it just brings it into the reality in the now, but also encourages me to romanticize the F out of my life. It allows me to make it cute, you know, take cute pictures, do fun things, take that little bit of extra time and effort to do my makeup, to wear cute clothes, to document my dinners, to take cute pics with friends, to go to nice events, etc. And it is a fantastic way for me to share the journey because we don't need to do this alone. I firmly believe that isolation is a really key point when it comes to this level up when it comes to reinventing ourselves, but that doesn't mean that we are becoming complete hermits and recluses. We need isolation in order to get clarity on that vision, on that ultimate version of ourselves, but we also need to connect with others. So for me, I recommend that number one, you share your journey on social media. If you want to share it with someone else and you don't have friends to, to do that, make sure that you share with me. I'm going to be documenting my, my glow up plan, my reinvention on social social media too. So hit me up on IG, hit me up on TikTok. Let's connect. Let's be friends. Some of my closest friends I've made from social media, um, like actually majority. <laughs> 
<laughs> social media is a beautiful thing it makes the world a very small place and it really allows you to, to find people that see the world the way that you see it and that's a really beautiful thing so connect with me there also if you do want some extra extra help on this grab the notion planner girl okay it's just gonna it's step by step okay this makes it instead of you sitting fluffing thinking what do I do what does she mean by that grab the planner I go through step one all the way through to the end all the details all the templates all the questions that you really need to be asking yourself and then turning that big greater vision of your future which is inevitable into a daily practice and a daily planner I love my notion planner and you will too I promise you but I'm gonna be doing more of these types of videos showing you how I use the go get her planner to turn my big vision into my day-to-day -day and how it has really allowed me to to achieve some of my wildest dreams and I can't wait for you to experience that too I am starting a series showing you the BTS of my day-to-day -day and how I am reinventing myself how I am leveling up how I'm glowing up all the details over on TikTok over on IG and I would love for you to join me so DM me there connect with me there and yeah I want to see your journey too so tag me comment and show me how you're reinventing yourself because if we are not trying to progress and move forward we're going backwards and I'm not going back to her I'm going to her you know what I mean I am striving to be better. I'm striving to do better. I am striving to be the best version of myself. So if that's something that you're all about, make sure that you follow the channel, connect with me on socials, and yeah, let's be friends. Have a beautiful day. I'll chat to you soon. Bye.